Sometimes you have PRC modules that are very long and have anything up to 24 input and output connectors to consider. If that's the case, you can insert a parametric PLC module and you can break a PLC module as you go. So I've got another blank drawing set up. So there you go, general inserting and breaking PLC modules. Let's make sure that that is added to the project. So add the active drawing. Yes to the project default values, it updates. And again, as usual, just make sure that you do the drawing properties and you get the sheet number in there. Just make sure it's nice and sequential so that we know it's there. And as you can see, that updates. I'll just quickly do a refresh there. And there's the 002. Now, some of these are getting quite long title wise. So you might need to expand your project manager a little bit so that you can see the names on the drawing list. These aren't the shortest drawing titles in the world for this section. My apologies. So let's have a look now at inserting and breaking a PLC module. So we go back to the schematic tab on the ribbon. I'm going to use insert PLC parametric. Now, we've already got a preset one there, which was the one we used earlier. So I'm just going to minimize the list and go for something like a 1769. And we'll go for, let's say, an analog combination there and click on the plus sign. Now, what I'm looking for here is one with a large number of points on it. So I'm just checking the list. And if we look here in this discrete input section, I've got some 16s. That's what we're looking for. Something with like 16 points on it. I'll go for my favorite style there, which is two. And we'll have a vertical module in this particular case. Quite often the case that you do tend to break more vertical modules than horizontal. Don't know why, just seems to be the case with AutoCAD Electrical. I'll leave the scale at one, and I won't apply that just to the PLC border. We'll just have a scale of one for everything. And there's my one from the list that I want, and I click on OK. It's asking me to add that to the list. Can you see the cross at the top? That's my start point right there. So I'll click there like so. Now the spacing, 0.75 at the moment, I'm going to make that one. And I'm going to allow for my spacers and my breaks this time. Now you'll notice it's sort of hesitated. That's because this module already has a predefined break point. I'm not worried about that. I want to do this manually. So I'm going to OK that. And as soon as I do that, it puts the initial information in. And there's the module, so I'll just put 001 and OK that. And then it asks me for the beginning address. I'm just going to pick the one at the top of the list. Because again, this is general. I'm not worried about specifics right now. Now, this is where it's cool. Because it's parametric, I can basically work my way through this and decide where to insert the next input output point, where to add spaces, and where to break the module. So I'm going to go insert next input output point, which is number one address points inserted there. So I click there and it adds the first one. I add a spacer. There's the red cross for the spacer. I add another IO point, add a spacer. And I'm going to keep going now until I get to eight. So I'll just keep clicking away there. And you can see that adding until I get to eight. So I've done eight input output points there. You can see them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there's one up there, eight. So I'm going to break the module now. It breaks it, and now it's asking me to insert the other part of the PLC module. So I don't have to have an entire PLC module going down the screen. I can start back up here now. Spacing again, so I'll put one in there, allow my spaces and breaks. Notice this time everything is not grayed out because it knows that I've already put the break in. So I OK that. Spacing there, OK that again. Insert next IO point. Add spacer. Insert next IO point, add spacer, and I keep going until obviously I hit my 16 input output points. Now, because I've broken this in a weird way, this is quite amusing now. If I keep going and add some more spacers there, it just keeps going. So if I go add spacer now, can't go any further. I'll just do decimal for now. Did you notice that it was going off the end of the PLC module? And what was amusing was it looked like it was actually going to go off the end and just into space there. The good thing about AutoCAD Electrical, because this is parametric, it'll actually set it up for you. So it actually sets up the length. You're literally creating a custom PLC module using that insert and break tool. So try and use parametric PLC modules wherever you can, because you can customize them to fit into your AutoCAD Electrical drawing.